Hi guys, this is Tian and today I'll be doing a video of saving my laptop's 2.5 inch hard drive that has died or died some time ago and I'm using a Nexstar TX uh, portable hard drive uh, enclosure. I picked it up very inexpensively at the local store. So, all right guys. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my laptop to get to the hard drive. Uh, it's rather easy to use this, uh, I've got the name of the screwdriver, this type of screwdriver. Flip the laptop over, by the way, it's a DV6748 HP Pavilion. I had this laptop back in 2008 and it fortunately died. Um, I don't know how exactly it died, but uh, it has some um, it's had graphic card problems. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't on the recall list, so I had to let it go. It doesn't power on anymore. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the laptop. I mean, that hard drive bay. Here, you don't necessarily have to be careful that you'll lose the screws. Here, the screws are actually embedded in there. That's all you have to worry about. Here's the hard drive. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Hopefully, this will work. Um, this one's a little tricky. Ah. To use this hard drive this to plow it up. There you go. Hope you guys can see that. It's the hard drive. It's uh, Western Digital, at least 250, 250 gigabytes uh, serial ATA, 2.5 inch. So my goal is to save the information that was on here uh, before my laptop broke. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Here, uh, I'll put this off to the side for now. Uh, all right, all right, it's time for the fun part. Insert the the what you call it, the hard drive into the enclosure. All right, uh, all right, guys. So. Pretty much, um, just make sure you remove the adapter that was on the laptop's hard drive and also the encasing where you use to slide into the laptop's uh, hard drive bay. And then you can put on the adapter for the, for the laptop, uh, for the hard drive enclosure. So I had a little, a little bit tricky there, but okay. So I got it. So here it is. Just slide it on and you got the cable that came with the hard drive enclosure. And let's go ahead and put that in there. Just slide this right in. This one does require tools. It's a, because uh, there's two screws right here you have to put on. Right here. Pretty sure it's the right way. Okay, so screws right here. And I also forgot to mention this comes with a, a casing for your hard drive bay. You can slide in for travel or protection. All right. Whew. Oh man, there's four of them. These are tiny. Next time, I might try to get the the toolless one, there's a toolless ones, hard drive enclosures, and you realize this one with that requires you to have tools. All right. I don't know why to give you four when there's only two slots. But I guess it's just for just in case that there's so tiny. There you go, got it. Okay. All right, so whew, got that in. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a test, see if it works. All right guys, so 
Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. The, I already plugged it in, my hard drive enclosure. You can see the blue light. I use USB 3.0, but I have it plugged into a USB 2.0 because it's backward compatible. All right, so, and it looks like it's worked. It's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find it. I had to sign it a letter in Windows 10. Every time you uh, plug in external drive, you have to sign it a letter in drive management. But look, here it is. It's all the stuff that I had on my HP back in 2010 when it broke down on me. And I can recover my files. All right, guys, so that has been my video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.